Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Fruitful by Sadather. When I make a map, I build in a way that when you place yourself in a corner of the room, you can see the whole test chamber, like Little Puddle or Buttle- sorry, Butter Bridge. This is not the case with Fruitful. I went for a bigger and harder test chamber using some tricks I've learned from my own levels and my friends' maps. Maybe I'm just good at building small and easy maps, but I want to confirm that I can go for bigger ones. Fruitful has been made for this purpose. It also contains an optional companion cube, a secret that Rectorox seems to be fond of. To unlock it, you need a secret combination of multiple mechanisms in the map. The signage to open the secret is set on none, so you'll have to find this one out. If you succeed, wait for a few seconds and the OCC should be delivered nearby the exit door. Why did I name it Fruitful, you ask? Because I made this chamber as a challenge for myself to see what I've learned so far turns out to be fruitful. I, for some reason, skipped the word if, so I apologize for that, but yeah. Optional Companion Cube, that's something that I started doing in my maps. I haven't- I don't- I haven't really seen it in very many other maps, but yeah, I- My Optional Companion Cubes work in very much the same way, where you need a certain combination of things with their, when there's no signage on them. So yeah, hopefully I can remember to get the Optional Companion Cube. Why didn't I- why didn't I use my teleport keybind? I forgot it existed. <laughs> Alright. So this does the f oh, it actually does two things. It does the funnel and the fizzler. All right. We have that laser going straight into the observation room, so we need a cube to use it. This button drops that cube. All right. We have X on that. Oh wait a sec. Interesting. So this is going to have to be hit at an angle because there's no th there's no portal surfaces directly across from it. We have another button here, that does that fizzler. That's by the exit, alright. And there's the panel where the companion cubes you drop from. Alright, well. Portal here, portal there, let's get this cube. See what all we can do with it. So first of all, this fizzler... We need a way to deactivate that. How might we do that? Also, I like how there's portal surfaces inside of here that you can never get to. <laughs> so, let's see, one, one thing that we could do... ...is... ...just point this at the wall at an angle. Oh my goodness. There we go. That'll kinda work. And then, let's see if any of these angles work. Oh, it's too much of an angle. Yep, that's not gonna hit that. Okay, well, what about this? That goes... Did we find out what that goes to? Does it... Oh, that's- that's for the exit, alright. Oh, and the other question is how are we even gonna get over here in the first place, so we need the- the funnel in order to do that. Which means that this has to be on that button, at least momentarily, so that we can get the funnel. Oh, and then if we try to recall the queue after getting the funnel, we won't be able to funnel it over to us. Tricky. Let's see. What if we went for like a really steep angle on the the wall here? I still don't think that's gonna work, but it's worth a shot. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, let's let's stop pursuing that avenue. How about we just don't even put it on the button? Can we see this from here? Yep, didn't even need to put it on the button. Yeah, cause this button- we don't need this button right now for that. So, we can deal with that later. Let's see... We've got this open, so now we can just portal on both sides. Alright. Let's portal here. Portal here. And let's take this guy in with us. If we just do this, we won't need portals, and we can access the funnel on Traverse between here quite easily. Portal here. Alright, now here's the interesting bit, right? I don't think we- yeah, there's no way we could see that if we were over there, so... That's not even something worth trying. So 
we need the funnel in order to get over here in the first place. But we also need something on this button, and we need something pointed at that. How is that going to happen? I guess this can be the last step once we get over there. So if we have the cube already pre-placed on the button... I think first we want to find an angle that works for this, so let's- let's do that first. Let's figure out what we're gonna do for the last part of the puzzle. So let's see, let's say that, you know, we- we funnel ourselves a portal there. And then we want to be able to, when we're over here... Doesn't give us many options. I guess something like that would work, right? Yeah, that works. And we can see those surfaces quite easily from the exit. But the issue is that we, uh, we just have to keep trying until we hear the exit open next to us. But that should definitely work, so... That's once we're actually over there. So the cube would want to stay here, angled into the wall like that. And really, we could actually, uh... I'll just- I can remember this angle, it's just right to the center there. Fair enough. Alright. Let's try and get the funnel now, and see if we can actually get over there. You come with me. Back on this button. These portal surfaces do concern me, but I guess they might be superfluous. Perhaps? I hope we don't actually need those, and that they're, they're, those are just there for, uh, the sake of having extra portal surfaces. So let's see. We have a portal underneath the funnel. Now... Now the problem is actually getting the cube... onto this. Or at least out of this room. Or... Or I could recall the cube. I didn't consider catching it in the air. Let's do this. Recall the cube. There we go. Okay, yeah, that'll work just fine. I ruled that out earlier, but that's totally what we needed to do. Alright. Then, we do this. That's approximately okay. We do... This. And then once we're over here, we would do the appropriate thing. Okay, so first of all, we gotta remember the optional companion cube, right? We can- we can certainly exit now. We gotta think about the optional companion cube. I'll try a little bit for it, but I'm not gonna spend an absolute age looking for it. If I were to hide it, wouldn't have anything to do with the funnel. So we technically don't even need a portal underneath the funnel at all. I'm thinking either having the cube on this button and pointing at that and pressing this button, or having it pointed at that and pressing this button. So we can't do both of these at the same time, so it's gotta be one of those two things. Let's go ahead and try one of those two things, then. We might also have to be standing on a button ourselves. Let's see here. place where we can aim the cube from the button. If we put this all the way over here, it might work. Yeah, that could work.
Might just need to adjust the green portal a little bit. Oops, let's not do that, please. Oh, that's too much. Ooh. Man, that is so close. That's as close as we can get, though. better way to do that. This way doesn't need to be angled more to the right. Yeah, that's... That's as bright as it's gonna get. We also want it on this button. Come on. Let's see here. So close. It's just the physics thing now. Okay, needs to still need to be on the button, of course. Come on. Really? There we go. There we go. So now, if we stand on this button as well... Don't see any companion cube yet. It said to wait for a bit, but I don't think we need to wait for very long. So this is probably not it. Let's double check. Yep, no companion cube. And if we recall the cube... Nothing. Alright, so that's not the correct combination. What about... the other one that I suggested? Let's see, so... We want to do... this rigmarole. And then, what happens if we recall the cube in this state? The other option is that I have to be in there... ...in here, like, once, uh... I don't think that's even possible, though. Okay, so that's not it. The other thing we could try is the cube on the other button, with the exit open. And then after that, I'm probably just gonna... ...give up at that point. So let's see... Best way to do this... Put this at ground level ish. Oops. Please don't do that to me. And we'll put that there ish. I guess this could also work, couldn't it? Yes. Alright, let's put the cube on the other button. Good enough. Now move the green portal. Oops, come on. Let me through the portal. There we go. No- Oh! And that was it! That's the solution! Alright! So... Now... All we have left... Is to get the cube back out here. Actually, we wanna do... We wanna do this again. We got the companion cube, guys! We did it! We did it! Alright, so let's see, point this at the wall. There we go. Save, and continue. There we go. Alright. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!